second new vlog, a cosy autumn vlog. You're in for a treat this weekend with me. I am getting my shit together finally. And if you guys are looking for some motivation, then look no further. Yeah, I think I mentioned in my last vlog, my car is just filthy. It's not been cleaned for six months. It's just been really low on the priority list of things to do. And yeah, we're gonna clean it because like I said in that vlog, I feel like there's gonna be mushrooms growing out of it soon. I'll show you the state of it before we go and get it cleaned. We've also got a wardrobe declutter happening in this video. Not looking forward to that one bit because it's such a mess. You know when the mess just amounts to masses and masses of mess and you just think, I'm so overwhelmed now, I don't even want to even look at it. Well, that's what it's been like in that wardrobe room for so long. So we're going to go for it today. We're going to, whilst we've got the energy, okay? We're also cleaning out the makeup bag today and cleaning the makeup brushes because I'm surprised I'm not full of spots, you guys, because... Oh my God, it's just shamefully shocking, but my makeup brushes haven't been washed for literally since we moved into this house anyway. What a grot bag, what a grot bag. Oh my God, I'm shaming myself right now. We are holding ourselves accountable today, you guys. We're gonna get our ish together. I'm gonna feel so much better after I've done all these jobs, for sure, I just know I am. But first things first, it's first thing Friday morning and we need to nip out and do the Friday errands. I like to get out first thing in the morning before the chaos starts coming up to lunchtime because it's Friday. <laughs> I'm just not about that Friday energy. So yeah, we're gonna get all the weekend snacks, all the food we need, all the bits and bobs done for the weekend. We'll see how much we get through, but I'm really gonna try, you guys. I'm really gonna try and get it all done because these things have just been pushed. They've been pushed to the back, swept under the carpet for too long. Anyway, let's go. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he started answers? What's it like to be the one that he comes to when he wants to dance and
little weekend haul it's becoming a thing isn't it on the channel <laughs> because i only shop every couple of days just because i like the food to be really really fresh and, and i can never think that far in advance it's like when you're doing a weekly shop you don't on a monday choose what you're having on a friday because you might not fancy it i picked up some of these large bread rolls these are for some burgers we're having tonight so they were in the clearance they had some clearance stickers on them they're so soft and fresh but um, we are eating these today, so I don't mind picking them up when they're like got these like cheaper stickers on them. I also picked up a chicken porky bowl. I don't like the name. <laughs> I call these um, I actually call these butter bowls. But as you can see, it's on a bed of rice, more than likely. It's got edamame beans in there. It's got a uh, chicken breast salted cucumber, pickled red cabbage, carrot, served with sushi, rice, and soy sesame dressing. So I picked up this one. I also picked up a salmon one. I've already eaten that as soon as I got in. So we've done that first because I was just starving by the time we got back. So I'm gonna save these tubs because you can wash them out. They've got little lids as well. They're four pounds each, these from um, Lidl. But do you know what? They've got a lot of chicken in there. And they've also got a lot of salmon in there. I've had them before. But what I'm going to do is save these um, dishes and make my own for the fridge. You know, like we're going to do some meal prep because I really need to start watching my weight. Moving on, I got some British butter, salted British butter. We've been using British butter at the moment. Usually we'd get the dam pack, which is a low pack dupe. Sometimes I do, but I do like to have real butter in as much as possible. I always go for things like this and make more of an effort with things like this and be a bit more like fresher with ingredients when I'm feeling organized. Yeah, and we've actually got into some really bad habits, you know, throughout the renovation, just for convenience and ease. We've got some garlic puree here, and I also picked up some ginger puree. Red onion, so I'm going to make onion rings out of these tonight. Caramelised onion rings, they're going to go on our burgers. Cheese slices, we don't really eat cheese in this house, but when we're doing burgers, I do like these cheap cheese slices. <laughs> and I like to melt them on top of the burgers while they're cooking. So burgers wise, we picked up some Aberdeen Angus quarter pounder burgers. Hubby likes to have beef burgers. I'm not a beef burger fan, so I won't be having those. I picked up some chicken burgers instead. So I've got these southern fried fresh chicken steaks and yeah, we're gonna have some burgers, whatever we don't use we'll put in the freezer. I also picked up some hash browns because sometimes I like to have them on the burgers. So we're going to do a hash brown on the burger and then I've also got these for the morning as well when we do some brunch. Sometimes it's nice to have some hash browns in the freezer. So I've got that. We've also got some skin on fries. So I'm going to do some paprika seasoned um, fries for the side so we're going to do burger and fries oh also I've got some of that smoky bacon we picked up last time in the freezer so we're going to pop that on top of the burgers we're going to have some real dirty burgers and I don't know about you guys but I am just starving thinking about that oh wild rocket I love picking this up it's like a peppery taste and it's just nice I like to sometimes chop it up really really small because I feel like you fit more on the burger and it's easier to eat but yeah, we're going to use that for the burgers as well. I also picked up some essentials. So this is the coffee we drink. It's just amazing coffee. I can't even tell you how good this coffee is. We need to buy a coffee machine so we can do coffee from the bean. That's like a little dream of mine. I'd like to make coffee at home from the bean. Picked up some milk. Always need the milk. And then we've got some treats guys look at these goo puddings 
red velvet goo puddings. Oh my God, I'm in heaven just thinking about this. I got some Kit Kat chunkies as well. Some nice weekend treats while we're watching movies. I got some fresh lemons. We always use lemons in this house. So I got a bottle of Pepsi Max and we'll be using the lemons with that. And then I picked up one of our favourites. Now, they don't always have this in stock, but it's the X Squeeze Rosé Prestige. And it's in this lovely, elegant-looking bottle. But it is a really, really nice rosé. And that's everything I picked up for the weekend. I actually had a lovely little morning shopping around and I am so proud of myself. I did not pick anything up new from the stores. There wasn't anything that took my fancy to be quite honest with you. And I'm glad about that because I don't really want to be spending any money on clothing, especially now I buy so much good stuff from Vinted. Still obsessed with Vinted by the way. There's still Vinted hauls coming up. I just haven't got around to them yet because I've had to prioritise like other videos and brand content, branded content. So it's on my list and it will be coming up soon and I'll show you all the great things I've been picking up from Vinted. The only reason I've been thinking I've got nothing to wear is because I'm unorganised in my wardrobe. So I'm going to pop all this food away and then you guys, we're going to go upstairs and we're going to tackle... <laughs> the wardrobe do you know what i'm anxious i'm anxious just thinking about it like i feel like leaving it but that in turn is making me more anxious so i know i've just got to get on with it so yeah lost again going back around dreaming of a time when i get things right lost in the shadows of a million stars downstairs he's about to go out to Wix and get some tiling for the fireplace in the snug so he'll be getting on with that later so you'll probably hear some noises work going on in the house downstairs so I do have a little bit of a plan for today I'm just going to dump all my clothes in the center of the room and we're going to go through them and then we're going to make some piles we're going to make a pile of what to sell on vinted i've also got a charity bag these come through the door and they're really handy actually and it's come through just in time so baby i'm stuck with a halfway heart slip away if i come too far I just pin my hair up because i'm already getting really hot like what a silly outfit to wear whilst i'm doing this job <laughs> Anyway, um, that's because I can't find anything to wear though. <laughs> These are gorgeous. They've got an elasticated waist. These are also from Primark. They've got a gorgeous autumnal check on them. And they're like ankle grazing trousers. They've also got belt loops. They just fit lovely, so they're not going nowhere. I do get a lot of wear out of these. So I did buy a pair of jeans once, and they were these ones from River Island, and these are in a, like a really nice cream colour. And what I loved about them was the contrasted stitching and the rose gold button. I just think they were super aesthetic, and you know what I'm like for the details? They look like this from the back. They were a little bit ripped, and I liked them turned up at the bottom because I do like a bit of ankle showing, not gonna lie. So these are in a size 14. These are going on vintage because as you all know, I found the perfect aesthetic pair of jeans because I don't like denim blue. And I just never, ever, ever wear them. We've got a beautiful little H&M blouse. I love this. It's got the same colour details. But do you know all that broadery on glare? Usually it's lovely in white. I saw it in this neutral shade. And I just like the puff sleeves on this one. However, this one is a little bit too big for me, unfortunately. So I'm going to get that on Vinted. These are a pair of really, really wide legs. So almost like parachute pants. Because um, I quickly tried these on. I bought these off of Vinted. They're from River Island. They've still got the tags on. And they're these gorgeous 
chocolatey brown, but it's a really earthy tone, pleated wide leg trousers, elasticated waist. And I just thought they look absolutely stunning. You know, if you're going out, I do like a skirt and things like that. Instead of a skirt, you can do like super wide leg trousers. So it still looks like a skirt, but they're actually trousers. So these are just new in. I've obviously tried them on and just thrown them to one side. So we're definitely keeping these. Okay, so these are bloody old. <laughs> they look like tights because they're like body sculpting ribbed leggings but they're so old i've worn them for a couple of winters in a row now you guys know i love my leggings in the autumn winter leggings and super cozy cardigans and jumpers over the top they're quite milky chocolate whereas i prefer like a dark chocolate so i'm going to pop them in the charity bag here look what i found this is a scarf from primark they do like the initial scarves and it's embroidered so it looks really expensive i used to have this hanging from my boot room at Christmas because I thought it was absolutely adorable. I can use these around the house as like big chunky knit blankets or scarves uh, on the back of chairs in the house around this time of year, especially Christmas. But this one I just felt like was just really expensive looking. So this is a silk kimono in a chocolate brown. It's also got wide leg trousers with it and it's just beautiful. And if you've not noticed, I love me a dressing gown. So that's the kimono. I just need to find me the trousers. I'm sure they're gonna show up in this lot here. <laughs> Pick me up when I'm in pieces. Oh, halfway heart of mine is a rolling stone. Make me roll right home. Oh my god, imagine this in the autumn winter with like a berry hat on. Oh my god, it's stunning, isn't it? Sneak peek, but I'll be showing this one in my next vintage haul. I just felt like my wardrobe was lacking coats, different style of coats, and I wanted to just create a nice collection of coats. I've got these gorgeous wide leg chocolate knitted trousers from Zara. It's actually part of a cord. I love a knitted cord in the autumn. You know I love a roll neck in the autumn winter. Well, this has got a roll neck top that goes with it. So it's really nice and it's a sleeveless. Sorry, I got I got a hair in my mouth. It's a sleeveless roll neck as well. So um, you can like wear this cord set and a nice jacket over the top without getting too hot. And it's just like, so this is a knitted vest from Chloe. And Chloe is a brand that I absolutely adore. I just think in the autumn winter collections, previously anyway, that um, the equestrian vibe they've got in their collections are just like very much a bit of me and roll neck underneath nice little vest your arms go through there and then the button it buttons underneath so it gives that vest effect but sometimes i find that that's really tight and restricting maybe i just need to lose weight <laughs> i just can't part with it i just think it's absolutely stunning isn't it okay classic white ralph lauren shirt you guys know i love the shirt and this one's well, just a classic white shirt basically and I like them in the autumn winter with jumpers over the top I also like them in the spring summer I just can't get enough shirts in my wardrobe I've actually just bought another one <laughs> I love this it's not going nowhere guys if you want to see the mess that is in front of me I will show it to you in a minute I think we'll break for lunch soon <laughs> because this is like hungry work <laughs> okay this is just adorable for a gilet, it's adorable. This is a Massimo Dutti um, gilet. It's got this really gorgeous, rat girly, cinching detail at the back there. I just love it. That's why it's pretty, even though it's a gilet. It's a very functional item. I love being outdoors in the autumn. And this is a recent purchase of mine. I think I've shown you this on one of the vintage hauls previously. Absolutely beautiful. And I love it. And I already wear it loads. Again, loving a gilet. This one's gorgeous. It's like a diamond quilted gilet. It's got the belt. I love anything with a belt. I bought it off of Vinted and it looks like it's come from like TK Maxx. And I always said that I would never be that girl with the duvet coat. I can't stand them. If you want a duvet coat, 
please don't take offence. It's just everybody's different and they've got different styles and different opinions. Some girls I see, you know the cool girls, they look, well, they don't look good in them. I don't think anyway, but they wear them, don't they, with the New Balance trainers and everybody you see in the autumn winter is walking around with these duvet coats on and they're just a sea of duvet coats. And I said I would never be that girl and then this reminds me a little bit of a duvet coat. It's not quite a duvet coat though, but that's as close as I'm gonna get to a duvet coat. Anyway, I love this and yeah, it's staying in the wardrobe. These are from River Island. I bought them off of Vinted. I just love a knitted collard in the autumn winter. They're just effortless. They're cosy, they're comfy, they're effortless. You don't have to think about what top's going with what trousers. And yeah, you can just stick a big wool coat over the top if you're going out. And they just look great, don't they? Trainers, Ugg boots. This is the little hoodie to match. Isn't it just the sweetest thing ever? I just can't get rid of collards. Like I said, I'm just living in them in the autumn winter. But just looking at the stuff that I'm keeping, it's inspiring me already. Like if you haven't done this yet, the wardrobe switch over for autumn, then you must declutter, get inspired again, get in love with your wardrobe again. If you want a lookbook fashion video, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'll arrange to uh, film one for you. Now I'm getting all the feels with all my stuff. <laughs> Look what I found. So sometimes I wear clipping hair extensions and I keep them in these little suit bags. Now you can buy these off of Amazon, so I'll link them in the uh, description box down below, but they're really handy because they come on little hangers and the hanger unfolds, you clip them back together with the hair extensions in, zip up the suit bag so it keeps them nice and fresh. And yeah, it's got this little coat hanger hook so you can hang them in your wardrobe. <laughs> I just think it's a genius idea. I just think that is bloody genius. It's a really loose fitting um, overshirt. It's from Boohoo and I bought this to go on holiday with. It's just very oversized, very much a bit of me, an overshirt, over your bikini, over your swimsuit kind of a vibe. I used to wear it on holiday as well. I'd put a belt around it when you're covering up, going in the restaurants, things like that. So I will be keeping a hold of this. I think it's absolutely stunning, the colour and the stripe. It's very much um, a summer overshirt, isn't it? I actually need to make a pile of holiday clothes and then put them away because I haven't done that in this house yet. I do have two rails. If I can keep the top rail to a minimum, autumn, winter, the bottom rail can be spring, summer. When we get the dream dressing room, we might have a different layout, but oh my God, let's not get excited about that because that just really just makes me want to pee with excitement. I don't know why I've been putting this job off for so long. I feel so good already and we're only halfway through. It's making me want to keep going. I already feel so much better and organised in my mind about it. So I don't know why I'm putting it off. Anyway, I just wanted to show you because it frees up all the coat hangers as well. I just feel so cleansed. <laughs> I'm going to have a break and in the fridge I've got that chicken butter bowl to eat. So I'm really excited to eat that and hubby will want feeding as well. So we're going to have a little rest you guys and have some lunch. So we will be back with the rest of the purge. Halfway home. Halfway hard. So we're back you guys, back with a cup of tea that hubby's made for us. More stuff from my wardrobe. Puffer Gile, wore it one winter. It's been there now, another couple winters now probably. And I just don't reach for it anymore. It's going on a vintage Broadway Anglais style shirt. Again, I bought this for holiday. I think it's from Boohoo, is it from Boohoo? Oh, it's from Nasty Gal. Again, this is gorgeous over the top of a bikini. I roll up the sleeves and I put a tan waist belt with it just to cinch me in and I just love that look for the beach. H&M shirt dress. This is in a maxi style and it's got the buttons all the way up the front. So I need a day to night outfit because we're packing light with just an overnight bag. So it's just a quick overnight stay and then we've got the spa the next day. So during the day I want to be able to shop, but I also then want to probably go out in the evening for a few drinks. So this is a jumper dress. It's got the slits up the side. It's the viral one from H&M last year, I think. And it's in this gorgeous ribbed fabric. You can bunch up the sleeves if you wanted, pop a coat with it, put a waist belt, belt on, and it just looks good with trainers or boots 
or Ugg boots. I think this is the one. I'm gonna pop this on Vinted because <laughs> if you remember, <laughs> when I bought this, I wore it for the first time and hubby come home and he said that I look like um, Scrooge in his nightgown <laughs> and I can't, I can't wear that now. I just can't wear that now. Guys, I feel like I'm not being as ruthless as what I set out to be. I'm a hoarder when it comes to clothes. I just love clothes and I always think I'll use that again. <laughs> and I never do. So this is my Zara Stripe sweatshirt. It's absolutely lovely. It's got little slits up the side and it's slightly longer at the back than it is at the front. So it's great for tucking in at the front. Anyway, I'm so over these stripes. I am so sick of seeing them. And I just can't wear it because I'm sick of seeing them on everybody else as well. So um, yeah, this is going on vintage. Okay, so I don't know what the hell I'm a bloody thinking with these, but they're a wide leg. Do I keep them? Because they're so soft. This is what I was thinking when I saw them. A wide leg, like a boucle, milk chocolatey, brown, um, cosy pants, but they've got no top to match. They're literally on their own and I've not worn them once. I actually bought them with the intention of being comfy in the renovation, just to give myself some soft comfortness whilst we was living in a shit pit. Shirt maxi dress, this one's from Mango. It's got some gorgeous pleats in the front here. Has it got a tie? Yeah, this has got a belt with it. They usually come with belts, don't they? But um, I like to swap them out to like a tan belt, tan accessories. Yeah, this is stunning on again. You can wear all sorts of footwear when you're dressed like this. Effortless, you don't need to think about tops or trousers. And that's why I love dresses. Also, they're just super feminine, aren't they? Totally forgot I had this. This has got the sports looks collar. This is from H&M and it's just a really nice knitted um jumper but it's got like three quarter sleeves love a three quarter sleeve i just think it's really flattering on me anything that comes just over the elbow linen style blouse this is from asos and it's got these lovely details here so it comes just under the bust here and it drapes down to the side like around the waist and you can't get enough of little tops like this to wear with usually my go-to is wide leg trousers but if you're a jeans kind of girl it will go with jeans, it goes with any kind of trouser. This is a more recent purchase. This was from Vinted. It's a H&M jacket with a little belt. It comes just below the bump. Wool, but it's made in like this suede effect. It looks suede, but it's not. Why do I look like Hagrid from the side? I look like Hagrid from the side. Oh my God, you guys, Dumbledore died. And it's actually our annual Harry Potter um, month. When you're watching this, it'll be October and I'll be in Manchester, but we usually start the Harry Potter marathon on a Sunday evening, but I'm not gonna be here. So tonight, whilst I'm filming this, it's Saturday, we're gonna watch the first one tonight and it's gonna be so upsetting, isn't it? Knowing that Dumbledore has died. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. So this is a holiday dress. I am going to pop that on the holiday pile. I haven't had a chance to wear it. So in my defense, we have been renovating nonstop since I bought this jacket. It's like a linen jacket. It's got this gorgeous pleating detail at the back and this flared peplum kind of design. And it's got a, like a double collar. It's just got so many beautiful elements to this item. A beautiful belt as well. And then these gorgeous sleeves. It's 100% linen. It's from Zara and yeah, I'm going to keep that in my wardrobe and see if I reach for it next spring, summer. I'm going to shut this door because hubby is listening to flipping love songs downstairs on Mellow Magic. It's his favourite radio station. <laughs> so I have a pile of stuff here. We've got a charity bag, which is a little bit full. We've also got a pile of washing over here. And then here is our vintage piles. Two vintage piles. This is the only camel coat that I own. And it's beautiful because it's a trench camel coat. So yeah, I'm going to pop it on um, vintage. It's a trench camel coat, but it's like wool. It's beautiful. It's got all the trench details, but it's a wool coat. And it's really heavy and it's really long. And you'll never guess where this is from. This is from Shein. Right, I'm talking myself out of selling it. So if it's not on Vinted, I've kept it. <laughs> it is beautiful, isn't it? It's got the belt and it's got the tortoiseshell details as well. Anyway, I might sell it on Vinted. 
But yeah, these are my two piles on Vinted. I've got a H&M linen cord. I've got a nice, gorgeous autumnal blazer. We've got some H&M basic Ronex. I've got this gorgeous Hollister jumper that's going on there that I just don't wear. Um, I've got a massive pile of washing to do and then pop on Vinted as well. And then here I have my renovation uniforms so we've put everything we're keeping back into the wardrobe in no particular order so i still need to sort out like put them in categories like tops together all the trousers together dresses etc coats so we still need to do that it's looking a lot cleaner than before but as you can see from the floor there's still loads of boxes here it's mainly bags accessories shoes but we've still got quite a lot to do you guys so what i'm going to do is leave this video here because it's getting too long and i need to crack on but to be continued so i will see you again soon for wardrobe purge 2.0 <laughs> bye guys